Welcome to Acorn to Oak with Penny Quail Pierce and co-host Matthew Donaghy. Within each acorn, there is the DNA that strives to be a mighty oak tree. All it needs to reach its potential for greatness is to be activated. You are the acorn. On this show, we will share with you the tools and guidance you need to grow into the person you are meant to be. And now your host, Penny Quail Pierce and co-host Matthew Donaghy. Hi, good evening folks. Um, I hope you're doing well this evening uh, or this afternoon, depending where you are in the world. And uh, Matthew and I are here talking about um, a year in the life of Acorn to Oak. So this is going to be a great show because we're going to be talking about what what's going on, what we're doing at the moment, um, how things are with us and also talking about um, the fact that um, we have a a new co-host joining Matthew for the next uh, three shows Um, purely for the reason is I need to take some time off Um, I'm going for some major heart surgery so uh, I hope you'll all wish me well with that um and it's next week so um matthew and uh, adam will be taking over the show for the next few weeks so i hope you'll support them and uh give them your uh love and attention uh each week as they move through different subjects so go back to what we're talking about this evening a year in the life of acorn to oak and you know although we talk about acorn to oak and we um, talk about um, all of the different things that we do acorn to oak is is not a new entity it's been something that has been growing for the last 18 to 20 years and it's a collaboration of health uh, professionals therapists educational advisors spiritual teachers and other um, people from the human potential movement or as we like to call it at Acorn to Oak uh, we're very much into personal evolution and helping people grow past their past and you know it's obviously very much it's symbolic you know little acorns to mighty oak trees and it's about spreading out those branches of the oak tree to help others achieve the same growth uh, as we have done and uh, which we uh, help other people achieve and you know we're very shamanic in our outlook and belief in the strength and the wisdom of the buffalo and the buffalo is the only uh, animal on the plains that doesn't run from a storm while all the others do you know the buffalo come together as a herd and turn and face it they gather all the young and elderly in the center and the wisest and the strongest form a rim around the perimeter to protect and shelter them and as its leaders turn and head into the storm they lead the whole herd uh in the protection and the buffalo innately know the quickest and safest way to uh face the storm and head through it together and out again into the luscious grasslands so we invite you at acorn to oak to join the herb or the tribe and it's very much our understanding that company is stronger than willpower and we invite you to surround yourself with the dreamers and the doers the believers and the thinkers and most of all surround yourself with the others who see your greatness even though you don't necessarily see it yourself so i've had my little say on this uh, at the moment and i'm going to hand over to um matthew so he can get in on the conversation <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, Penny. So, good evening, everybody. Uh, good afternoon. Um, I hope you're all well. Um, it's been really interesting um, 
just reflecting on sort of what we're going to be talking about on the show because when I look back over the last year, I've achieved so much and everything that sort of I was trying to manifest the year before and more, I've achieved. And I know Acorn to Oak has, has done that as well. And it's it's amazing. It's only really when you look back and reflect on things that you you realise how far you've come and how much you've achieved. Um, and when you have a clear and strong vision and you really use that laser beam focus, anything is possible. Um, I've managed to manifest more last year than I had on my list. Um, very much priority for me was passing my uh, group facilitation course because not only does it mean that for my business I can go and run my independent taster days and do groups um, but I can also be part of the Acorn to Oak main facilitation team and it's like even just that one thing is is just incredible um, and I've never been a high achiever at school I was I was always that one that sort of never really put in the effort could have done really well um, but never really put the effort and got average grades um, so always could have done better um, this is the only course I think and, and my other breathwork courses that um, I've really had the passion for and it's shown because in many ways I've found it very very easy um, and it, it it just comes naturally when, you, when you're onto something that you're passionate about it's not work it's, it doesn't feel like work it, it feels crazy because you're getting paid really good money for doing something that doesn't feel like work because if you could do it for free you, you would because you enjoy it that much um, and so yeah what, reflecting on the last year has been really quite intense because the, Penny and I have done so much together as well within Acon to with and planning and it's very much what's coming in now in sort of January and what we're going to be bringing to you for the coming months is what we were talking about the start of last year and how cool that would be and that's the natural step and working through how what Penny's vision was, how what, what people were asking for because very much there's a uh, a demand for the foundation course but the global market is slightly different people are going to need it slightly different so we've been working on various different things and it's those things are, are happening now um, and it seems like we were dreaming about it last year and now it's happening and it's it is an absolute dream when you when you're passionate about something and you you find that I mean for me my mission has always been since trying breath for life breath work it was so life changing for me i thought why why is this why doesn't every person know about this because it's it's the most life changing experience i've done um and i've had um so for me it was very much early on i i had this passion for get the word everybody should know about this like health organizations should know about this this should be available to people in the UK we have national health system in my opinion this is such a prof life profound changing action therapy this should be on our NHS we should be providing that service and I'm getting passionate about it now because it's kind of like we there's so many services that I've tried and many people with mental health has tried and doesn't work and doesn't seem effective and it's like why are we still banging our head against the wall why are we still using the same old systems that don't seem to work because we need to make a change and there's very much a lot of talk about sort of talking about mental health and for me it's about no we need to stop talking about mental health and start doing something about it we need to take it one step further and that's very much our, our our mission for this year is to sort of 
stop messing about, really, like pull <laughs> off our sleeves and, and really get cracking and take this global because there's such a demand for it and there's so many people living in pain and suffering that could be living extraordinary lives. Um, that's what we're here for. Mm. We're not here for pain and suffering and to just stay in the same place and get the same experience. It is very much, we're here to evolve. That's what yeah. life's about. Um, and that's very much where we're at now. So um, it, it's amazing reflecting back and looking at all the sort of processes and the visualizations and the, the groundworks, as I would say. Mm. Um, and when you, it, it proves that when you put in the groundworks, any, any vision can become possible. Um, yeah, I think I think that's so true, Matthew. It's it's um, you know obviously for me, Acorn to Oak was very much born out of the fact that I was doing a four year training uh, in the nineties, um, uh, learning to be a homeopath, and uh, I was uh, basically uh, exposed to a plethora of different therapies, different modalities, uh, you know, it was basically, you know, I, I was very much at a stage in my life is that men are from Mars, women from, from Venus, you know, what on earth did that mean? Um, going through all sorts of different things about um, energy medicine, does it work, does it not work? You know, I came from a very orthodox uh, platform, you know, with nursing and intensive care nursing. And it was very much a case of me, it, you know, this was my exploratory time. And very much I found that there was uh, uh, some stuff out there, but it was very disconnected. Yeah. And it didn't flow. And very much part of um, the passion I had was that things needed to flow and pe things needed to make sense. And, you know, it was all very well having these dots um, uh, scattered around the universe, but actually I wanted to bring them all together so that people could actually uh, start at point A and go right the way through to Z or Z in the States and realize that they were taking a considerable step each step that they took. So one of the things uh, we have within Acorn to Oak is it's, we have a yearly syllabus of things that we actually teach and we start off in February, usually, uh, with uh, a weekend which is called Becoming Al the Becoming Alive Weekend. And it's very much about dealing with inner conflict. You know, people often uh, times complain that they don't have enough time. They don't know what to do next. They're not as far along as they should be. Uh, and a whole host or myriad of complaints that not only prevent them from accomplishing what they want in their businesses, but actually fully enjoying the journey and the experiences that they're having in their lives. The real problem isn't that they, uh, isn't that they observe the world, but it's rather they should, they should look at the internal conflicts that are preventing them from uh, accessing their ideas, um, their thoughts, their actions, and also looking at the resources that are available to aid them in creating success. It's not that we don't have enough time, it's because we're not using that time wisely. You know, we dissipate so much uh, mental energy on internal conflicts that we drain our energy and the time that we we have uh, I just want you to think about it you know how much time is consumed by worry and whether you know you're making the right decision are you thinking of the past are you participating in anxiety and you're driving the future by that worry 
So, you know, we look at that during uh, the Becoming Alive weekend and we help people um, get through to looking at all sorts of different issues. You know, are you consumed by your thoughts, you know, uh, your body image, the inner critic, the voice in your head? you know that keeps on saying you're not good enough actually this person has got more than you and it only and it's the ifs the if i could if you know why is this not happening to me or why is this happening to me again and it's constantly looking at the what i call the story factory and the story factory could be your voice or it could be your mother's or your father's voice it could be an old teacher's voice but when we actually look about it look at it it's amazing how many hours per week we spend in worry and disconnection and you know even if it's on the low side maybe five hours a day that you you're in hurry worry if you uh, add that up five hours per day for a whole week uh, uh, for a whole week and then you times it by you know 31 days and then you times it by you know a, a whole year you know, it could be about 250 odd uh, hours per year that you're spending in hurry worry. And it's looking at it and just going, I have to break the cycle. You know, it's it steals our time. It steals our energy. And most importantly, it steals our presence. Because if we're in hurry worry and we're not living in the flow, we're not present for our loved ones, we're not present for our children, you know, our wives, our husbands, you know, and we just don't capture the magic moments, which is really what life is about. You know, people have spoken to and we're just coming up to a break, but we'll we'll talk about this again, uh, and we'll we'll carry on after the break. Your conscious connection. To a more mindful world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Om Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment. A philanthropic organization, their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Om Times. Co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. I'm Kathy Williams, host of Sexy Mom Abundant Life radio show on Thursdays at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. On the show, we explore living abundantly in every area of your life. Ways to let go of limiting patterns and beliefs and to step into the flow of creativity and possibility. Knowing you are supported by the universe. We are talking about your life. Ever wonder, is this as good as it gets? No, it could be so much better. At Acorn to Oak, we know you are seeking more happiness, joy, unconditional love, financial freedom, passion, and purpose. Find your unique mojo and live an extraordinary life. Want to know more? Contact us at our website acorntooak.org.uk One in three adults has pre-diabetes. One in three. That means it could be you, your football buddy, your football buddy. 
Or you, your best man, your worst man. You, your dog walker, your cat jogger. While one in three adults has prediabetes, with early diagnosis, prediabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ag Council and its prediabetes awareness partners. Let's just talk about inner conflicts for a, for a couple of minutes. You know, they come in many different forms. You want to create something in your life. Maybe it's more money. Uh, maybe go out and buy a luxury item, start a project, maybe take your business to the next level. And it, you know, or maybe you'd like to meet the man or woman of your dreams. And it's something that you want consciously, but what is happening at an unconscious level is you start to look at different aspects of your life and you're not congruent with what you want to create. On one hand, you want to take your business to the next level. However, on the other hand, although you're not aware of it, you believe that money is hard to make. You know, classic one, of course, is money doesn't grow on trees. Or you have to re have to work really, really hard for success in business. Or if you are successful in business, you'll have to sacrifice another area of your life. But you may not be aware of it right now. And these incongruences are what make inner uh, resistance. And it saps your energy. It saps your time and it prevents you from being present in your daily life. And ultimately, when you're in that state, you don't have the energy to create what you want. You know, have you ever felt like you've taken three steps forward and two steps backwards? Have you ever wondered, why is this happening to me again? It's like you know you're only operating on 25, 30 or 40 percent of your capacity. And it's what you're carrying around. It's like a lead backpack of these inner conflicts. And you're just simply not aware of it. So, you know, one of the reasons we kick off the year with uh, Becoming Alive is to actually help us deal with some of these conflicts so that we can get free and into the flow. So it's a great one. I love, I love that weekend. And it's, uh, you know, uh, we've had many different people and hundreds of people doing it who've got really great results. And we use uh, Breath for Life Breathwork as a tool during that workshop. Uh, but it's, as I said, it's the kickoff to the new year. Um, but we run all sorts of different courses during the year. We also run our Reiki 1s and Reiki 2 courses, which are done, you know, very on site, hands on, small groups, which are fantastic. And, uh, you know, I, I laugh with Matthew and I go, you know, I, we've got many different Reiki teachers working within Acorn to Oak. Um, using the same handouts and, and the, the same structure. Uh, but it's, you know, it's very much, you know, there's always an art and a science to things. Uh, the science is what, you know, is, is the bedrock of what we teach. But the art obviously is very much depending on which Reiki master, because, you know, again, one of the things that Acorn to Oak is the prerequisite for being uh, an Acorn to Oak uh, Reiki teacher is you've got a great sense of humor and fun, so, <laughs> yeah, which is so, so important. And, you know, and during the year, we, all, we do all sorts of different courses. We, uh, we basically have it's it's like pearls beyond price we drop pearls beyond price throughout the whole year uh we do shamanic breath we do um uh wild women courses which is very i again one of my favorites where we obviously a wild woman's course is for women only 
And, you know, one of the things I think very much uh, with Acorn to Oak is about it's got to be fun filled. It's got to be joyous and it's got to be inspiring. And one of the things that uh, the facilitators realize uh, is because I I bang it into them, basically, is, is that, you know, the one thing that we have in our minds is, can we love these people enough to take them and hold them safely on their journey? And if the answer is no, then I would definitely say to the person, we need to refer you on to somebody else. Because it's not about making sales. It's about attracting our soul tribe, our soul family, so that we can, you know, love each other and enjoy each other and learn from each other and all travel along the same path towards personal uh, evolution. So, yeah, I've been, again, ranting, so I'm going to hand over to Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chomping at the bit. So it's, I, I just find myself nodding away when, when you're talking and I think some of the the teachings is is one of the most profound things that, that's helped me along on the pathway. Um, when I first met Penny, um, I was a builder by trade. Um, the only real knowledge I had around energy um, was knowledge around martial arts and Bruce Lee and that energy could be channeled and used as a force. Um, other than that, I had no knowledge or sort of truth around spirituality. I'd heard people talking about it, never really understood it. Um, at the time, anything that was spiritual probably would have put me off and that's the thing I loved about Acorn to Oak was the science and the medical knowledge behind the spiritual is second to none and it's what helped me really really grasp um, what's real and where energy comes from and how energy works and actually that's what's really helped me evolve because Again, there's a lot of love and light and fluffy bunnies that talk about stuff that isn't actual real spirituality. Um, and to uh, for me to evolve in the way that I have, um, you have to dig into the emotional side and obviously doing Reiki courses along the way. Um, I remember being really keen on wanting to do my mastership and again it's the the thing I love about the training at Acorn to Oak Penny said to me is I'm not going to put a thousand volts through you if I if you can only take 250 at the moment it wouldn't do you any good it wouldn't do me any good and quite frankly I'm not willing to bear the karma on it and that's when I sort of stepped back and realized well this is this is real serious stuff and it's the whole with great um, I can't remember the saying, with great knowledge comes great responsibility. Mm. And that's the thing I loved about Acorn to Oak, is it's, it, it's not about trying to make as much money as you can from people, which often a lot of businesses, that, that's what businesses run on. Um, we would rather help people that want to do the work and give them the truth. Um, and I think that's why it's really, really sort of snowballing at the moment, because... There's a lot of people out there that are sort of being, feel as though they're being misled and don't really understand things. And they've tried various different spiritual practices, I know, um, and they're all very good in their own, own right, but it's understanding the whole bigger picture, um, which, again, I got from the training I did. Um, the secret is very, very good. But I get a, a lot of people sort of say, oh, well, it worked at first, but then it stopped working. And I say to them, well, it's not that the secret stopped working. It's that you failed to understand the messages. 
and I know I've spoken about this before and it's kind of like if you're trying to manifest something for the first time the universe is going to give you it sort of or, or give you something to show you that it, it, it works um, the trouble is people then get greedy and it's like a kid at Christmas rather than maybe one or two things on the list you up it to 50 and think well it's the law of attraction it's going to work and you may get again you may get one or two but you get lessons as well and if you learn f if you if you catch the lessons and you learn from them and you and and you make the effort and do the work it will continue to work but you have to realize that you have to evolve with it as well um so i get a lot of clients who say that they've tried again mindfulness so they've done a lot of work around um, some NLP stuff, um, new empowering decisions, uh, we call them NEDs, um, but it is sort of changing your thought patterns and looking at what you're thinking and as Penny was referencing earlier, it's looking at how many how many hours a day you spend worrying, because um, to me worrying is praying for what you don't want. So uh, I think I worked it out before, I, I was spending between four and five hours a day worrying about stuff um, which worked out to be I think it was something around 1600 hours a year um, worrying about stuff and you think well if you're spending 1600 hours a year worrying about things what do you think you're going to manifest um, yeah. so by d again by doing the work and digging in and, and, and changing some of the mindset it will change things However, again, I've had a lot of people say, yes, I can take, I, I, t I tell myself that things will change and there's a part of me that believes it, but I don't feel it. How can I change that? Mm. And again, it, that's the sort of diverse training at, at Acorn to Oak that that's exactly what Breath for Life does. When you want to change your mindset, you use mindfulness, you use something designed to work with a conscious mind but if you want to change how you feel and the experiences that you attract for me it's the subconscious every single time that out of everything that's been the one thing for me that's been most life-changing and it's not to say that all the other things haven't changed my life because they have however it's the training and and what i've learned over the years and being sort of drip fed for my own good because again if 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 we spoke about um some of the detailed stuff we we involve on our shows to somebody that's consciousness is not is not stretched it, it goes over their head like a 747 um so that's what i love about the sort of the personal evolution is it's started it's baby steps so i was introduced to energy work uh, for me, I hit breath work first, but that was because that's that's what I needed to turn my life around in that moment. But it was the learning about energy and then learning about control of energy and how to use energy I in a good that. way. Uh, I mean, it can only be used in a good way. That's a, a fact. If anybody tried to use it in a negative way, well, <laughs> we know the world of the universe. They'd be using it on themselves. So, um, <laughs> but it's again, it's learning about classroom management, and it's going really in depth. Um, our mastership is five weekends. Um, it, it's real detailed, and the the, the science is it, it proves it. It backs it up. And the thing I love about um, one of Penny's mottos, as I would call them, is um, don't believe don't believe what I tell what I'm telling you go and test it and I just love that because there's a part of, even if there's a part of you that doesn't believe it you'll go and test it and realize it's true but that's what I loved about it it was like there's a scientific explanation there's a huge spiritual side and but don't believe me go and test the system try yeah. it out and yeah. that that's what I love about it. it it's there's the, you haven't got the hard sell with often a lot of the courses is hard sell, but it's kind of we're, we're not about that. It's about helping people. That that's the the goal, and it's helping people to help themselves as well. That's the mm. 
the dream. I think. Of... I think so. Uh, you know, it, it, it brings to my mind uh, uh, one of our lasses who started their Reiki journey and did their Reiki one, uh, then they did their Reiki two, and then it took them nine years to do the Reiki pathway mm. because basically they were just taking on board at their own pace. And, you know, when you when you turn around and you get people who need that extra time, it's really important that you help and support people do it at their own pace. Mm. And it's not about, as you were quite rightly saying, the next sale or pushing people to grow faster than they feel able or comfortable doing. And, you know, as you said, the, the weekends for the Reiki, it's, you know, advanced healing techniques, it's psychic development, it's spiritual development, it's self-realization, um, it's advanced healing, uh, advanced energy techniques, which is a wild weekend in Glastonbury. Uh, uh, having lots of fun, lots of belly laughs, lots of, of personal exploring and we end up going into the center of Stonehenge that weekend which is just truly amazing to be in Stonehenge uh, and they get a Reiki master achievement there and then the the, the master uh, three-day training and even that to me sometimes feels a bit rushed but, you know, people turn around and say, oh, yeah, you know, Reiki Mastership, I did it in a day. And I, <laughs> I, I look at that and I go, what? You, uh -huh. you, you must be joking. You know, you couldn't, couldn't even begin <laughs> to understand what Reiki Mastership is about. I mean, don't get me wrong, being a Reiki Master doesn't make you some type of guru. It's uh, it's meaning that you've learnt the techniques that you need to teach other people how to do Reiki. And, you know, for me, I'm very science based anyway. And, you know, one of the, the, the proprietary technologies that we have is um, the energetic model of health, cure and disease which is also best based uh, very much on the energetics of homeopathy and talks about, you know, how pathology arrives in the body, how pathology leaves the body and energetically bringing in, obviously, the, the chakra system and everything else. And we learn the energetics of it. Uh, and then taking it bigger and bigger each each time we uh, meet a whole um, bunch of students, which is great fun. And it's from my point of view, uh, I love to teach Reiki one because it's like you you meet people and they're like a closed bud, and they're they're very closed and they they don't have a huge amount of knowledge about energy. And then over the weekend, you see them developing and opening like a beautiful rose. And it is the most gobsmacking, amazing experience to watch people go through. When they start to unfold those, uh, those leaves of, of the rose, and they, you know, and as the rose opens, there's the most amazing scent and everything else. And it, it is truly, uh, you know, I don't often talk about how much of an honour it is to be a teacher or a facilitator. But my word, I tell you, you wouldn't want another job. <laughs> <laughs> So we're just about to go for the break.
A conscious lifestyle for a mindful life. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Home Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Home Times endeavor. Host your show with Home Times Radio Network. Hello, I'm Sandy Sedgbeer, host of Home Times Magazine's flagship radio show, What is Going On? My passion is sifting through information, research, and innovations from new thought teachers, speakers, and researchers pushing back the boundaries of what we know about life energy, metaphysics, and the universe. I love shifting perceptions about who we are, why we're here, and how quickly impossible becomes normal when we open our minds, expand our awareness, and accept that the only limits that exist are those we place upon ourselves. So if you're the kind of forward-thinking, eager investigator of what lies beyond the current reality that most perceive, why not make a date to come play with me in the field of possibilities at 4 p.m. Pacific Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time every Thursday, and together we can discover what's really going on. We are talking about your life. Ever wonder, is this as good as it gets? No, it could be so much better. At Acorn to Oak, we know you are seeking more happiness, joy, unconditional love, financial freedom, passion, and purpose. Find your unique mojo and live an extraordinary life. Want to know more? Contact us at our website, acorntooak.org.uk. Long ago, you wouldn't think of galloping on a horse while doing calligraphy, and you wouldn't have attempted to ride your bike while typing a letter. Yet, you think you can safely operate a multi-ton vehicle while texting? Behind the wheel is no place to multitask. If you want to BRB, drive now and text later. Lives depend on it. Visit StopTextStopRex.org, a message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, Noise, and the Ad Council. So we're back and we're just talking about... Um, you know, the, a year in the li life of April to Oak, and uh, as you, I hope we've we've um, told you, is we have great fun and joy, and it's really important for us to help people understand their greatest potential and their inner genius. And you know, whatever fr frustration you are experiencing in your life, whether it's your life or business, you know, are they going to Oak, You know. Do you want to actually say, okay, mark the date right here, right now of when I'm hearing Penny talk about this? And do I want to be in exactly the same place next year at this time? You know, you've always wanted more financial abundance, more freedom, a higher quality of life. You know, to have a greater impact, to feel more confident, experience more joy, more meaning, more familiar, uh, you know, fulfillment. And to you, if you're looking at other people, they're rocking it. However, on the inside, you just don't feel that you're moving fast enough, despite all the hard work that you've been putting in. You know, so in one year's time, you'd like to see significant changes in both your diet daily life and your business life and it doesn't have to be that hard you know, we are here to help you know you're smart if you could have done it alone you would have done it already okay there is nothing wrong with you there are so many things that you don't know that you don't know. And it's really important then to reach out and find either a coach or a mentor or somebody who can help you, you know, decipher this map that you've been thrown at at birth and you have no idea even which way to hold it up. 
you know the, I, I you know as as Matthew says he gets passionate about things I get hugely <laughs> passionate about this because unless we ask how on earth are we going to find out you know it's really so so important so the way you know you want to retrieve all is to follow a proven part path which creates the results that you want with expert guidance a shift in mindset a trusted community which will keep you on track and accountable okay it all starts with saying yes to a bigger future once you have committed to that you will can change the course of your trajectory professionally and personally what's what previously seemed too far out of reach will begin to materialize in your life it's that easy all you have to do is take the first step in courage and with faith it's time you activated your greatness again acorn to oak is here to help yeah and um that's really really important point on um on all of it, all, all of it, to be honest, and I really, really felt your passion there. It, it, oh, it's when you when you're cooking on gas and you're passionate about something. Go, oh boy, oh boy, do people feel it. Um, and it's, I think it's so so critical that the the first step often is is the hardest step. Um, we can tell ourselves stories around that we can't do it, or it's going to be difficult, or whatever the stories are it could be i can't afford it this that and the other whatever we all have stories when we first start out and um it's it's just as penny said having some some faith and if you want to know if penny's if acorn to oaks teachings work i'm i'm proof of that that if you if you do the personal work and you clear yourself out enough um you can be up, but you can become a practitioner, and you can have the joy of spreading the word and also helping people in the way that you feel you've been helped. So, my in in, in a way by helping others do the work, I'm in some way paying back for for, for the teachings I've had, and it's only because I've stuck by it and gone by the teachings that I'm now able to be part of the, the teaching team because again it's uh, when we're talking about evolution the, the Reiki is, is, is almost sort of quite basic when, compared to sort of the breath work and the emotional development and working with the subconscious and that sort of thing um, and it is that evolution and if you stick with the program and the teachings you could have the exact profound changes that I've had in my life and that's not only emotional freedom whereby it doesn't matter what you've had to deal with in your life and we all have stuff that we've had to deal with nobody's had the perfect life so whether it's child abuse whether whether it's a serious physical pathology whether it was rape whether whatever you you've been through it could be losing parents family um, death is a huge thing that affects a lot of people and they never really move forward from it um, and there's, there's so much in there even down to kids being bullied at school which turns them into a recluse which means they don't then do well at school where they were before and their whole life pans out in a because of one or a few situations um, and it's yeah it, it, it's about dealing with them and, and moving past them and like I said by, by dealing with my stuff that is just the most amazing life experience on its own mm. to do the personal work and gain freedom mm. from the pain 
that you're in, the suffering you're in, the, the, the mindset, um, the amount of people. It, it, in some ways, I feel like the, the world's gone mad because there's so many people living in situations that are not good for them and won't take the first step. Um, and very much I was one of those people for years and years. So it, although I say I don't understand the behaviour, I did it myself, it is that you almost want to sort of like shake the world up and say, come on, wake up, people. Like It's time to make a change. Don't spend another year in the relationship, that, the abusive relationship you've been in for how many years. Don't. Don't spend your another year in in that job that you don't wake up in the morning and think, oh, I can't wait to get to work. Um, it, whatever it is, if there's a if if you ask yourself or or say to yourself, oh, I'd really like to change this, like do it. Stop talking about it. Take the first step because it's it is the hardest. It's that committing to self and. Again, that's why I say the, the world's gone mad. It's like we're so many people are not willing to commit to themselves, mm. and it's but really it's sad fear. when you think that yeah. people can't do that. Um, many people can do it for family members and friends, but they can't do it for themselves, and it, that's where we're trying to again raise the awareness and saying like we need to stop living like this. And if if we all evolve um, then we can create a huge butterfly effect um, if more people are connected even just connected to the universe in what matters climate change there'll be more effort put into that because again people will be releasing more passion into what they want to do for me it's yeah. helping yeah. people um, it's really people aware. Sorry, it's really interesting at the moment. I don't know if you've got this in the USA, but um, uh, we've got a, a government um, advert on the TV in the UK at the moment about getting Britain talking. And basically talking about mental health and the fact that we don't talk to each other anymore. And they were actually talking about um, on Britain's Got Talent, I think. They, were, they actually stopped the show for a couple of minutes so people could actually talk to each other during the programme, which was really quite... Um, it's, it's really quite uh, sad to, to realise that, you know, we've got to have people on the TV telling us to talk to each other. And, you know, one of the missions at Acorn to Oak is to activate the, your, your potential in life. You know, we don't subscribe to the idea that you should conform to the status quo or stay small to stay safe. And, you know, we're a, a, a community united by commitments to personal evolution. You know, taking inspired action and breaking through our current uh, b uh, barriers consistently. And I know I've been banging on about doing things consistently for some time, but it's consistent action which will move you forward. And, you know, and also, you know, connecting to our willingness to be bolder than we've ever played before. Playing the big game, you know, which aligns you with your heart and your calling, you know, in pursuit of leaving the world a better place than we entered it. And I think, you know, that's that's me, you know. <laughs> you know, let me work hard so that it's a better place than when I first got there. And um hopefully you know i'm going to be here for a long long time and therefore i've got some time to do some more stuff as well so a year in the life of acorn to oak is very much about helping people um to change what they would like to change at a fundamental level um 
and very much it's using uh, all sorts of well-proven uh, processes and symptom uh, systems and frameworks in order to help people create an extraordinary life. You know, it's time we all activated our greatness. Yeah. Yeah, it's very much what 2020 feels like. Um, I know very much a, a lot of people are, are going through it. It does seem as though a lot of people are waking up, um, especially to mental health. And I think um, I'm going to be careful not to go into a, a rant on this one because <laughs> it, there's a lot of stigma around mental health and it's the word mental. And mental is is referred to as, well, they're crazy, there's something wrong with them. And this is why I think a lot of people are scared to talk about it, because they don't want to be judged. Um, so, unfortunately, that's the end of the show. Um, but I hope you're... I know, we could talk for hours. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But, yeah, so if you feel inspired, get in touch. Um, I hope you all have an amazing week, and I'll speak to you next week. Okay, take care guys.